Guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a very special 1970 Corvette. Uh, got Joe here, the owner. What, 13 years, Joe? Yes. Hmm. Right. Gonna tell us a little bit about him. How are you doing today, Joe? I've had it 13 years. It was yeah. stored for 24 years. Um, everything on the car is 90% of it's all original, except for little things that might have been repaired and replaced with it. Yeah, uh, like shocks and bushings, right? Yes. Uh, bushings are still original. Haven't changed wow. Them. Haven't changed them. Just the shocks get better ride. Um, calibers in the front froze up, but I have all those. Yeah. Uh, the radio actually last week uh, when I was taking it out, first time since uh, last year, radiator started to leak, so I put a new uh, DeWitt Racing radiator, all painted up to the code color for the car. Mm -hmm. I have the original radiator with the tags on it. Very cool. It's got the original water pump. Huh. It only has, what, uh, 18,000 miles? 18,400 18, miles. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you bought it with what? 14? Uh, 14,300. Hmm. I only take it to and from shows. Yeah. The car belongs in a museum. It really does. You know how many owners it is? Um, I believe I'm the fourth owner. Wow. And the first owner did all the motion stuff? Yes. Yes. The, uh, the original owner, he didn't drive it much because I guess when it was given to the, um, his sister. Yeah. He passed it on right before he passed. Wow. He got too obese for the car, so he didn't drive it. Oh, he really couldn't get in it, yeah. huh? Yeah. Man, that's... Actually, when, uh, when I got it, I was wondering why the, the seat was crooked on it. <laughs> And I was looking at the, uh, the stops on the bottom. Yeah. They were broken out. Oh, my God. So with me, it says maybe he was too big for it and broke them off. Makes so total I sense. I, I replaced those. They had just get re-screwed in. Yeah. And another nut on them. But uh, other than that, yeah, that was stored. When it was taken out of storage, it had 13,000 original miles. Oh, on. my God. Oof. Retains the original spare up in there. I saw that. Bonding strips, all original. No panels or anything that have been replaced on this. There's a lack of paint from the 70s. Man, that is killer. They didn't make black in 70s, so it was what color? It's a tuxedo. Tuxedo black. No, the original color. Oh, the original color was a Donnybrook ring. Wow. Which they couldn't get. You couldn't get a black Corvette in 1970. Yeah. So the original owner painted the black after he had it and did the motion scheme on it. Really works in black, man. Oh my I God. Did, yeah. In your plate. Good Lord. <laughs> That's a real plate. Yeah. Big black hood. That's an original L88 hood. Hmm. You put that on it. That's from, I believe, a 68 or a 69. Really works. Both the same. But these are original headers too. Yes. Or side pipes. This hooker right there. Very cool. Interior is all original too, interior, right, Joe? Yes. Interior, rugs, everything. Never been replaced. Incredible. Actually, I tuned this thing up once when I got it. Mm -hmm. I haven't touched it since. It starts right up every time I started. Take it out of storage from the end of the winter to the beginning of the summer. Hmm. Pump the gas twice, it starts right up. Crap. Still runs on points. Yeah. Still have to add lead to the fuel probably, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, the octane is minimum is uh, 98 octane on these cars from the factory. Wow. So we got the, so I run an additive and I run it. It's about 106 octane and runs on. Wow. <laughs> it's so incredible. So it's original motor tuned to LT1 yes. specs, thing, right? Yes. Things that were added on you can see, which is mostly just bolt on. Yeah. The motor's never been out of the car at all. Wow. Motor training, rear end, everything, numbers matching. The things that you could see were the Edelbrock manifold, 
if you look at the type of Edelbrock, it's from the 70s, 80s. Uh, it's an 800 uh, CFM Holly Cobb dual pump. The uh, aluminum uh, valve covers. Okay. The water pump, still original, never been changed. All the electronics, everything's still in here, still retains the uh, static resistor there. Yeah. The radio. Correct shielding. Back then, they was still, they got rid of them. They yeah. were just tired of taking it off. Of course, and they yeah. Tune-ups, and they just got rid of them, and they got lost. I was surprised when I saw it. It's like the original cans in there too. Yes. Jeez. The original vacuum can is still in there. Yeah. This side over here, I think. Very cool. Almost looks like the original alternator. Uh, it says it was. Looks too new to me. I don't know. It could have been rebuilt. It looks. But it's got the stampings original, on it. Original, yeah. It's, it's original. Very cool. Man, you just don't see Edelbrock uh, manifolds like this. I've never seen one. It's the older one, too, because it's, if you go in the 60s, it's where the oil fill used to be. And they have the, uh, the block off for it. You used to have the oil fill. Come straight out the top. Yeah. Fill the oil. Oh my god. Very cool. It's a time capsule. It really is. It belongs in a museum. Well, it's fired up. It's basically a cold start here. Barely touched the key.
really got on it, huh? I have never. <laughs> I've never cracked the tires in us. Wow. I, I, I was afraid to. I don't know. I, seriously, it's a museum piece. I don't want to bust what's back there. It's because, all original. Yeah. And uh -huh. knowing what cars like this back then, too, they would know that if you got on it a lot, you can blow these rears out. Yeah. But, uh... First, I just wanted to keep it as original as possible and just show it. Yeah. Never used it for transportation. I've seen it at a couple shows. I've got it. I got over a dozen trophies. As soon as every time I go, I get a trophy. Man, it sounds so good. Thanks a lot.